A couple of weeks ago, we told you about a Shafter teacher who had been put on paid leave after being accused of making his students stand for several hours. 23 ABC's North County reporter Camilla Bastidas talked to parents today who were picketing this morning in support of that teacher. Camilla. The third grade teacher is still on paid administrative leave, and some parents we spoke to today are doing everything they can to get him back in the classroom. These are some signs two parents were holding up at Sequoia Elementary School this morning. They are showing their support for Claudio Martinez, a third grade teacher who has been on administrative leave since February 6. We just wanted um, to get more attention to this um, issue because we want him back and we want the school to know that we want him back. One student told 23ABC she showed up to school on February 3rd and found all the chairs stacked in the back of the classroom. Martinez allegedly told the students they were being punished for misbehaving the day before, and they had to stand from 8 to 11 o'clock in the morning. Some parents are standing by the teacher and disagree with the school district. The district took it too far, you know, pulling them out of the classroom before the investigation was completed. Some parents made Martinez their top pick to make sure he became their kid's teacher. We chose him because he is a strict, strict teacher and with high standards, and we feel we're getting cheated because... He's not in the classroom. The Richland School District will have a school board meeting tonight, and these parents are planning to speak up. If they're going to make a decision, it would be nice to let us be involved in the decision. It's supposed to be a community effort, you know, teachers working with parents and parents working with the district, so we're all supposed to be in this together. Why are we being kept in the dark? The superintendent of the Richland School District in Shafter says he can't comment on the issue. The district did receive complaints which are being investigated. Tonight, the school board will not speak about Martinez, public, but public comment by these concerned parents is welcome. In studio, Camilla Basitas, 23 ABC.